Hello, Matthew Tamin here. Welcome to another video tutorial for Balboa Joomla Forms Builder. In this lesson, I want to give you an admin demo and also showcase so you can see how to build uh, forms with this. I've been using this for some time now and I absolutely love it. So if you have a website and you want to create professional looking forms that are easy to use, that are responsive, this is definitely the extension that you want to get. So here you have the admin demo, which I've already logged in, and then you have the showcase. So let's take a look first at the back end. So let's say you want to create a form. You click on new and you put in your form title. And it's happening in real time while you put in the title as well. So how this works is you pretty much drag and drop anything that you want on this page. And as you're dragging and dropping it, it gives you the flexibility for you to do anything. And as you click on each one to customize, you can change the label text. You can select an icon to go with it. You can choose a description for this. You can choose a placeholder. You can choose the max length that you want the form to be. You can choose the minimum height. You can have this required. You can add a class suffix if you wanted to style the form a little bit differently with some HTML. And you have the email here. You can be able to use this and incorporate this in your, your article pages as well. So when you go over to the form options, you have so much control and flexibility on how to change what to change. You can change the color, you can change the background, you can change the font size, you can change the label, you can change the inputs. There's so many things you can change the radius, you can change the colors, you can change pretty much anything that you see here. If you want to change that submit, you can change that. You can change the background color for this. So as you're changing it, it's happening in real time. So you wanted to change that to that. So this is really great. I love this because there are times when I'm creating a landing page and I want this particular button to match the color scheme of the page that I'm creating. Well, this is a great way that you can do that here. You can also embed the code. You can change the end line. You can add upload an image here. You can upload uh, different things. And if you can also uh, have it in a way where if someone selects option one, another option is going to show up. If they select option two, other option is going to show up. So you can incorporate the address, the Google Maps, the slider, the, the upload button. I'm going to be going through each one to show you what it does, how to use it. And we're going to be creating different types of forms. Now, I did a video before, a brief video that shows you how to create an application form. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to create different types of form. Let's say you want to create a survey. You know, you can do that. You want to create a, a contact us form. You can do that with this. And let's take a look on the front end just to see the flexibility. So here you have the contact us form. You can include Google Maps with it, with the location. You can also include a captcha. You have application form for those that want to create application form for job. So you can incorporate this with your website. Now the form order forms are really great because there are times when I don't want to use a shopping cart. You know, I just want something that's very simple, easy, and one, two, three, and you're done. Well, this is really great because as you're choosing the items here, it's adding the total on the form. And then once you're done, you click on submit or buy now or whatever it is. And it's going to send all this information to you on the back end so you know exactly where the orders came from, what the ordered, and things like that. And you have to form in a pop up. And I use this too when I'm, you know, in certain sections of a website. When you click on this, here, it's going to pop up a form so people can be able to, you know, process their orders and then you have the conditional um, logic fill the multi page form there are times when you want to create a multi page form when someone finished one part of it they click continue to the next to the next so maybe you're trying to collect some data you're trying to you know do a survey or something well you can use this to do that as well and you have an image picker you let you choose different types of images so you can build a cart with this I mentioned and you can pretty much do whatever you want with this form It's really versatile. So if you're looking to build forms on your website and you get this extension, it's so easy. It's a drag and drop. And at the end of this tutorial, you're going to really have a better understanding of how to use each part and how to customize it based on your, your specific type of business. You can even create an online booking form here for hotel, for reservations, for taxis. So as you can see, this form has a lot of power. And I'm going to show you how to utilize it for your type of business. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video so that anytime that I release a new video like this one, you're going to be the first person to get access to it.